How's it going everyone? Got quite a lot of PlayStation news to go over in this video. We do have a big update on Phantom Blade Zero and look, I think the game looked really good at the Summer Game Fest. I thought the gameplay looked solid, but I do have some issues with how they've rolled out this game and I just don't think game promotion should be handled this way. It's a pet peeve of mine, but I gotta say the game is looking really good and I'm just hoping it does come out. A lot of you guys seem to think it's coming out in 2025. I'm still pretty skeptical on that, and given that a release window wasn't attached, that is my main issue with how this game was revealed, and how this game was updated, rather, I should say. I am happy that they gave us more gameplay that we can actually sink our teeth into. Phantom Blade Zero has a bunch of updates from the official Twitter account, so... Here's what is noted. Phantom Blade Zero Summer 2024 Developer Update. Hello, everyone. We have been thrilled and humbled by the reception of Phantom Blade Zero during this year's Summer Game Fest. Thank you all for watching the latest trailer, experiencing our first ever playable demo, and providing us with your valuable feedback. Why a playable demo? Phantom Blade Zero made a big splash during last year's PlayStation Showcase. It did, but I don't even know if last year's PlayStation Showcase was the time to reveal it, given that this game is still a ways away. Again, I just get peeved when these games get revealed so far in advance in that trailer. We'll see how the final product looks, but uh, I've been burned by the Lost Soul Asides, the deep downs of the world. That again, I'm a little bit skeptical on this. Lost Soul Aside, by the way, had gameplay demos, had playable demos, just putting that out there for those of you that want to bring that up. But since then, we have seen quite a bit of doubt on social media with people saying the game couldn't possibly be real. Our purpose for bringing a playable demo to Summer Game Fest was to showcase that everything you've seen so far can be pulled off in an exciting and deliberate way. And I gotta say, that gameplay demo was awesome. The game looks great. Great. I wish we got a release window so we could have some sort of actual tentative window to know when we can play this game because it was revealed last year. A year later, they're still not giving us a window on when we can play the game. And if you talked in 2023, I was talking back then that I don't think this game is going to be un out until 2026 or 2027. A lot of you guys were like, no, nah, it'll be out in 2025 and maybe it will be. But if the game is scheduled for 2025, at least at this point, you can be like, hey, the game is scheduled, so on and so forth, because you did the big reveal last year. A year later, it's just a gameplay update. I'd like more information. Uh, it would be one thing. It would be fantastic if the game was initially revealed with this demo last year, because then I think it would quell a lot of the doubts on whether or not the game is real and whether or not the game will come out. But now a year later, you already revealed the game. Now we're getting the update. I'm just not liking how it's being rolled out. And that's my personal opinion. But uh, it continues combining strategy and reflexes to create a satisfying experience that is easy to pick up, but difficult to master. Another Souls-like. I saw a lot of people upset that this might be another Souls-like. And it should be noted, as of now, those who have tried the demo should have a solid idea that it's not a Souls-like game. You know what? Thank goodness, because Souls-like is a genre that's incredibly popular. You know what else it is? Oversaturated. There's a lot of great Souls likes out there. Leave it to Souls. Leave it to Lies of P. Leave it to Lords of the Fallen. I'm down for more non-Souls like action titles. It was noted, it's worth stressing again that making another Souls like was never part of the plan. We want combo driven, heart pumping combat that is hectic, rewarding, and exhilarating. We did take inspiration from Souls like games such as multi layered maps, multiple approach paths, and hidden nooks and crevices, but the similarities stop there. There will be difficulty options, and you won't have to face respawn mobs after you die or interact with checkpoints. Perfect! Look, there's a lot of ideas and a lot of aspects to from software titles, let's just put it that way, that people can take and people can draw inspiration from. But not everything has to copy it, uh, you know, 80% of what those games are. Phantom Blade Zero can be a standalone quality action game with its own ideas, with its own mechanics, or mechanics that aren't involved in a Souls-like as much. And I know it's just not me at this point, not everybody wants these super difficult games. Look, you guys have 9 to 5s, you guys have children, you guys have relationships, you guys have friendships, a social life. Not everybody wants to sit down and play a Souls-like game, get good kid, for 8 to 10 hours. Some people are into that, and if they are, more power to them, but some people just want to kick back and enjoy a fast-paced, hectic action title, and that's what I want Phantom Blade Zero to be. Phantom Blade Zero can exist as a non-Souls-like, and the Souls-like games can exist as Souls-like. There's room for everything to exist, but not everything has to be a part of an already, what I would say, oversaturated genre, like the difficulty options, and there have been Souls-like 
fights that have had difficulty options. Look at a Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin, but you get the idea. I'm down for more games that go maybe more of the Devil May Cry route, fast-paced action games, and this definitely looks bigger than a DMC game, but you get the idea. Release platforms. This is not a PlayStation 5 exclusive. We've noticed that some press outlets are calling Phantom Blade Zero PlayStation exclusive, which is not true. S-Game is an independent developer, and there's no exclusive deal at this time. In addition to PS5, we're planning to release it on PC as well. No Xbox mention. Take that for how you will. Phantom Blade Zero at this point, PlayStation 5 and PC is planned. Um, so that's exciting. Online demo. The demo we're providing is offline only. We are really sorry about the disappointment and beg for your forgiveness. Okay, like, there's no need to beg for forgiveness. Dear eager gamers who are reading this, the un- Varnished truth is that the demo simply isn't ready for testing on a large scale. At Summer Game Fest, we have already seen some frame rate issues and occasional crashes. The demo is ready for testing in a controlled environment. We will get to find out what the issues are without being overwhelmed by feedback. So we, we are taking this step for now. We'd prefer tackling problems early in the development process instead of releasing something hastily and having it blow up in the player's face. Please kindly bear with us while longer until we can get a solid demo ready for the general public. So... Again, they're saying we'd prefer tackling problems early in the development process, which is great. However, early in the development process, if you actually read the releases that were made about Phantom Blade Zero, you know that why back in 2023, I was exceedingly skeptical on when this game is going to come out. Look, there are titles that I was skeptical that were ever going to come out. Black Myth Wukong, Stellar Blade... Both of those games are coming out this year. It's not like every game gets lost soul aside into the eons uh, ahead and they never come out. That's not true whatsoever. I am exceedingly pessimistic when it comes to gaming. These days, for a lot of people, how can you not be? Y you got y'all still excited for Star Wars KOTOR Remake? I know you guys were excited when that game was initially revealed. You guys excited for that Star Wars Quantic Dreams game? I know you were excited when it was initially revealed. That's what I'm saying. I just want gaming to step away from especially a new IP, unknown studio, announcing a game three, four, five years in advance. It's just unnecessary. Look at what, and I'll go back to it over and over again. It doesn't have to do it this way. You could do an Expedition 33 where that game caught a lot of people's interest. And I think Phantom Blade Zero has people's interest now because some people still think that this is going to be a 2025 game. I'm led to believe that it's going to be a 2026, 2027 game. And at some point, people are going to be like, oh, I don't know about this game. And you just don't want to go cross that slippery slope. And again, this game was revealed last year with the gameplay trailer. All you're doing this year is more gameplay. And it's nice that we get more digestible gameplay. But a release window for me would have been really nice just to alleviate some of those worries. And uh, I think if it was scheduled for 2025, at this point, they would have said that it's scheduled for 2025. Based on them saying that this is early on in development, I'm thinking 2026, best case scenario. 2027, very likely as well. It's not a PlayStation exclusive either. I think people were a little bit confused when it was initially revealed. And remember, Phantom Blade Zero last year was like the standout of PlayStation Showcase at that awful event. And people were super excited for it, and I think people were using that game as a way to elevate the showcase last year. But in reality, that showcase, uh, that game back then was super, super early on, and a year later, it's still fairly early on. So I get it, that game development takes a while. Take your time. Get this game right. New IP. Uh, I shouldn't say new IP because the Phantom Blade has existed, but you get a new IP in a large scale. Um, and a relatively unknown development studio. I have no problem with it whatsoever. Take your time, all by all means. It's just the rollout for it, especially this game getting positioned as the big closing title for Summer Game Fest. I thought Summer Game Fest was gonna be games this year and next year, and maybe based on that, Phantom Blade Zero will be next year, but I'm thinking at this point it might not be. But let me know what you guys think. I know I'm coming across very pessimistic. Look, there's a lot of things I liked. I think the gameplay looks great. I think the game, if it comes out, is going to be really good. Uh, but I wish we could just get to a point where games, a year after being revealed... I think at that point, we should get ready to be told a release window uh, a year after the initial reveal. And the initial reveal was portrayed with gameplay. The idea was that was gameplay. And a year later, you're getting more digestible gameplay, but still no release window, which I do think is not ideal. But that's my two cents. I'm sure a lot of you guys will disagree with me on this. 
that's fine. And I definitely come across a little bit more negative when it comes to this topic than a lot of you guys. But that's my two cents, and I get it. Game development takes a while, but I would just rather uh, the focus be put on other games. Look, I would have said that, hey, end Summer Game Fest with Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. That game comes out in four months, and that would have been a fine conclusion, given how excited people are for that game. Phantom Blade Zero, uh, you could have had this demo. Don't make it the closing game for sure. And, uh, yeah, that's my two cents. I could ramble on it a lot longer, but the game looks great. Let me reiterate that. I just don't like how the rollout has been handled, but that'll do it for me. Your thoughts down below. Sound off there. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.